Hello, hello, everybody. The Blue Fox here. Today, we are going to be taking a look at a game called Scepter Road Voyager. Uh, I'm playing this on Steam, uh, and I'll be using keyboard and mouse uh, if possible. So we'll see. Um, I have not played this game before. It looks like, and I don't know, like a Stardew Valley, maybe a maybe an RPG game based off of what these guys look like. Is that a a robot? A mannequin? What is that? Anyway, well, let's check out a new game. Um, what is campaigns? Well, I have the Infinite Roads campaign on a large procedurally generated map. Okay, I guess that means that this game is a roguelike? Um, let's find out. Uh, Zach. Check your mail. Um, I am very pale, but I don't think I'm that pale. I'm that pale today. Uh, hair, color. Well, we need hair for there to be hair color. Um, okay, are we, uh, Midoriya? Is there blue? There is blue! Okay. Alright, bangs color. So we can get... Oh, bangs. No? I guess that, that hairstyle doesn't come with bangs? That hairstyle doesn't come with bangs? That hairstyle doesn't come with bangs? D does any hairstyle come with bangs? Is it only for females? It's only for females. Ugh. Okay, whatever. Um, let's go with this, this. Facial feature, looks like what, freckles? Oh, facial feature, color. Uh, eye patch, which can't be changed color. Uh, okay. 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 Is this another female only thing? Oh, there we go. So I guess my goatee can have a different color. Oh, and a beard and, um, sideburns. All right, well, we're going to go with eye patch. What is this place? Where am I? Okay, it is an RPG of some kind. Uh, those are good questions. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have time to answer them in detail. Is this really happening or my dream? Both. A dream doesn't have to be less than a real wake. Uh, that's a discussion for another time. Please follow me. There's much I need to tell you, and I cannot stay here long. Wazzed. This is kind of giving me um, Ragnarok vibes. Oh, tactics unavailable. Oh, let me move my. Let me move my face here so you can at least see what's going on right there. A basic attack using your equipped weapon inflicts one times your attack power HP damage. Charge time four seconds. Cancel the current action with the next action. Against everyone's action. Flee. Hold down shift. I, I can also use right click to move. Interesting. I must close the tear. I'll be back. Is it what the hell? Okay, click the mouse to bring up the combat menu. In the menu, select an action and a target. Press escape or click outside the menu to cancel. If you choose a basic attack, your character will continue attacking the same target until given a new command. Okay, attack, shadow beta. Pew. Okay, attack, shadow alpha. This is kind of like Final Fantasy XII in a way. Shot of Delta. Shadow Epsilon. Can I attack myself? I think I can attack myself. Okay, and Shadow Gamma. Find the mysterious woman. <laughs> I 
I'm sorry, you're not ready and I don't have more time to explain. I'm gonna need your help very soon. You and six more make seven heroes who will need to be ready. For now you must go. Gather and prepare. I'll visit you again. Seven heroes, huh? What a strange dream. I must have been a dream, but why am I covered with scratches? Maybe I scratched myself. Dream that I was fighting monsters. Okay. When you complete quests, defeat enemies, you will earn skill points, which you can use to unlock new bonuses and abilities. This is just like the Final Fantasy XII job, uh, job board. Uh, okay. Spend your skill points in escape, go to the pause menu, click on party, unlock skills, skill board. On the skill board you can scroll up, use the mouse, scroll wheel, click on an available, okay. Alright. Party, unlock skills. This, this is the Final Fantasy XII job board. Alright. Um, arming sword. Attack power three, swashbuckling clothes. Teller Beret, or Teller Barrett, <laughs> and a lucky coin. Well, I don't know if I have an arming sword. Uh, I don't know if I have swashbuckling clothes. Do I have any of those? I have a short dagger and adventuring clothes. I don't have anything in my inventory. I don't have anything here. So I'm just going to get straight up attack plus three. So I've unlocked the ability to get the buckler, armored plus ten, dodge plus ten. Okay. Um, I'm an adventurer. Uh, he is the party leader. Change class. I can become a scholar. Um, tactics. No tactics. Equipment. Status. Okay, it doesn't actually tell me what these are, so what's the point of clicking on them? I don't know. But, uh, okay. Inventory. All. I got nothing. Journal. Enemies, people, game concepts, instructions, I got nothing. Map. This map is... Difficult to decipher. But I think it's a randomized collection of biomes. Okay. Uh, return to game. Can I, like... I can't use the mouse or anything to select these. All right, I can't go into here. Not let me do that. You will want to save your progress occasionally. This is a save point. Save points like this can be found throughout the world. Use them to save your progress. If you are wounded, you can heal at a well. These wells can only be used once every 60 seconds. Quests. Defeat the turkeys, then return to Farmer Murray. Okay. Let's go defeat some turkeys! Is there a way to, uh, to select with the keyboard? No. Attack turkey beta. Yeah! Ragged feather. Attack turkey alpha. I wonder if there's a way to make the game pause when I'm selecting my action. Let's see. Options. Vignette effects. Pause the action menu. On. Keys. Wazd. Next character. Previous character. Why is there no next character button, but there's a previous character to bu uh, button? Okay, how about open map is M, next character is Q, pre or next character is E, previous character is Q. I'm curious. Oh, you know controls detected. Okay. Okay. Defeat some turkeys. Attack. No, wait, I don't want to attack myself. Oh no, am I actually doing that? Am I actually attacking myself? That would be bad. All right, but we have attack turkey. The game just crashed. <laughs> I knew it was going to do something bad. I knew something bad was about to happen, but I didn't know it was going to be a full-on crash. Okay, so apparently... Um... If you interact with the menu in a very strange way, 
if you interact with the menu in a strange way, uh, it will, <laughs> it will crash. So let's see if it saved our, it did. Okay, attack Turkey Alpha. Oh wow, you're still alive. Do items automatically pick up? No, you have to get close to them. Okay. Uh, attack. Turkey Alpha. And I guess I can wander around while I'm waiting for the attack to go off. As long as I'm there. Attack. What, I don't see this thing in, uh, in range? Attack. Turkey Alpha. So now I can walk around, and then get close to it. Ow. Yeah, this is very Final Fantasy XII. Not that that's a bad thing. It's just very noticeable. Ooh, crap. All right, how many did I need to kill? Um, oh, did I even accept it? Oh, I don't even think I accepted the quest. Uh... Defeat the turkeys. Okay, now, there we go. Now I need to defeat these turkeys. Okay. I wonder if the tactic system is the same thing as the gambit system from Final Fantasy XII, where I can set up automatic, automatic uh, rules for the characters to engage in. Such as, like, if you see an enemy in range, attack it. If your health goes below 50%, use potion. Um, that way you don't have to give them manual orders the entire time. Well, I'm getting a lot of ragged feathers. I hope the turkeys respawn. <laughs> oh, jeez, this turkey over here. All right. It's interesting that you can't, like, choose with a mouse click. You have to actually, like, use the menu down here. Like, I can't select this person by clicking on it. I mean, I guess that's because you can use... You can use a, uh, controller. And to be honest, this game is probably easier with a controller, because just maneuvering the mouse over here... It's kind of awkward. But hey, I've got all the feathers. Um, yeah, I would probably play this game with a controller instead of mouse and keyboard. Defeat turkeys, complete. Here's a sword and a shield. New quest available. Find your friend, unlock tactics, go to friend. Find a trainer, go to the squire. And you learn enemy nearest. This is exactly like the Final Fantasy XII battle system, which is good. I liked the Final Fantasy XII battle system. I spent so much time fine tuning and crafting my abilities where I could just put the controller down and my allies would fight for me. Um, it, made, it made grinding so easy. I literally, literally would just put the controller down and go make a sandwich and come back and my allies would just still be there wailing on things, healing when they needed to heal. Oh, it was great. Um, of course I would turn that off for boss fights, but just like general trash mobs when I'm farming, you know, random items. Oh, just, it was great for that. Especially the remake for, uh, cause you could put it on uh, four times speed and then your, your allies would just mess everything up. All right, so my friend should be close. Is this my friend? Friend. I hope those turkeys didn't give me too much trouble. Find your friend, unlock tactics. Now that you've helped the farmer his turkey problem, we can all have some fun. Talk to me again, add me to the party. Okay, let's join the party. Um, this will be... 
Eric. All right, Eric, you're gonna join us. Um, you know what? That's actually not a bad look for you. I'm just gonna change the the facial hair color to match the hair. All right, Eric, you and I are going on an adventure. Uh, you now have a new party member. Use... We're gonna change that. Uh, options. Controls. Rebind keys. Okay. So it it didn't understand what I had given it. Um, you know, the old hedge wizard said something to me. Mind if we go talk to him and see what he has? Uh, go to the hedge wizard. Okay. Um, how do I do my tactics? Uh, let's see. Tactics on. Tactics on. Uh, we don't have any tactics at the moment. So let's go find this guy. Squire. No, not Hunter, but well, let's talk to the Hunter. There are lots of monsters out there in the woods. You need to be careful. You also need to use different tactics. Flying monsters are hard to hit. You need to use bows, guns, or throwing knives. Slimes can't be harmed with regular weapons. You need to use magic against them. Bring plain feathers. Well, we have those. Oh, that's just a repeatable quest. Okay. Um, let's go to party. Let's go to equipment. I don't have any extra equipment, it looks like. Um, change class. You can go to adventure or scholar. Eric. Eric, you're going to be our scholar. Um, so let's unlock some skills for you. Learn Sucker. Uh, sure, let's learn Sucker. Uh, because we don't have anything about this. Uh, okay, what about you? Uh, you've got one tactics slot. Uh, again, I don't have any equipment. So let's get, um, armor. And attack power. And white magic? Block? Uh, if I'm going to be, like, the fighter... I kind of want to be the thief, though, but uh, right now I'm, a squ uh, I'm an adventurer, so let's kind of... Again, I don't have any equipment, so I need to be... I need to just get basic stats, because... Oh, I have an arming sword and a buckler! Oh, okay. I forgot that I got those from that quest. So I need to get arming sword and buckler next. Um, okay, uh, where is the squire? So there's the old wizard. Is this the squire? Farmer Glen, defeat some pumpkins. Okay, let's accept that. Why does it still have an exclamation? Okay. Can I even go into these buildings? I don't know if I can go into the buildings. Doesn't look like I can. Smith, uh, quests, deliver tools. Deliver blacksmith tools. You get blacksmith tools. Uh, can you deliver these in Sunrise Falls? Okay. Um, but let's, see, let's check the shop. Um, okay, arming sword, throwing knife, adventuring clothes, buckler. Okay, so this is where I can get this stuff. Um, I've got the stuff for the main character, for me. What does Eric use? Eric is going to need acad academician robes and initiate wand and an academic cap. Do you sell those? No, you do not sell those. Um, all supplies, all equipment, Potions, tomes, others, weapons, helmets. Okay, so no, you don't. I guess I could get the Teleberet because. Uh, because uh, I can wear it. Um, the Hedge Wizard quests. Complete this quest. We get an initiate wand. I bought a new wand in Sunrise Falls. Couldn't decide what to do with the old one. So I remembered you two fools. You need a magic wand for dealing with the pesty skullbirds. And there's nine destructible slimes. Don't shoot your eye out with it. If you don't know how to use a wand, someone the scholar character can unlock it. Okay. Um, shop. Buy. 
Uh, he doesn't have Academician robes. Uh, but he can get the Academic cap. So I'll buy that in preparation. All right, um, we need to kill things so that we can use the gear we have. Uh, train tactics. Wait, quests. Complete. All right. You need to keep your wits about you to stay safe out there. Remember to set your tactics in the party. Enable tactics. Let your party members make their own decisions in combat. Okay, train tactics. Buy tactics. Um, if you're at less than 50 HP... Okay, target enemy, enemy nearest, enemy leader's target. Ah, vulnerable to fire and vulnerable to ice. We want those. It's weird that it doesn't give me a confirmation. Like, are you sure you want to buy this? Um, but yeah, so, okay. So, I, I know what the tactics system is like in Final Fantasy XII. I'm going to just assume that it is the same way. So let's go to tactics on me. Um, so the way that this works in Final Fantasy XII, if this is trying to emulate Final Fantasy XII, it's that you have a set of rules and your character will go one by one and it will check every rule. And the moment that it finds a rule that it, that it processes, it will do that rule and it'll go back to the top. So, here is set target and condition. Target enemy, nearest enemy. Set action, attack. Now, this character in battle, every time it's time for him to act, he will go through and he'll go, one, is there a nearest enemy? If so, attack. Um, you can put something else in front of that where it'll first check, hey, am I injured? If so, heal self. Then, if I don't need healing, go down to the next thing. Um, so let's go to you. We're going to put the same thing on. Uh, target enemy. Uh, nearest enemy. Um, Scholastic Sucker. Restores magic power and 60 HP. Oh no, restores HP. Okay, uh, we're going to have you attack. So you can use Sucker when your ally is at less than 50% health. And I will probably do that. Uh, as soon as I'm able. You have 25 SP. Let's put the Initiate Wand on and the Academic Cap. I don't have Academician Robes. Um, so we'll save that for now. So Equipment on you. Initiate Wand. Uh, academic Cap. You already have Scholar Robes. I guess that's the default. Like, you can just wear Scholar Robes. Um, does this... You could dual wield? Wait, can I dual wield? Okay, I'm dual wielding. Hell yeah. All right, so now, in theory, I don't need to do anything in combat. Um, let's defeat pumpkins. Where are they? It looks like the pumpkins are in this zone. Um, this is not a good game design here. Why, uh, I, I have to zoom in to see my characters? Oh, there we go. I, have to, I can zoom out and it tilts the camera. All right, so I have to defeat the pumpkins and return to him, but where are the pumpkins? Is there a, oh, are these pumpkins? No, these are turkeys. Yeah, see, I haven't, I haven't touched anything. And they are already going to attack. Now this is good because you're gonna have apparently seven characters to deal with. Um, and you can always pause the game and give them manual orders. Like Slime Alpha, uh, Eric is gonna be able to handle that. Um, I'm turning my tactics off so that I don't run and attack it because it's nigh indestructible apparently. So Eric is gonna run around and hit it with magic. Awesome. I'll turn my tactics back on. I'm hitting space. And I guess space is just tactics off. Wait, what? Hold on. Okay, that's... I... That is a little weird. Alright, uh... Oop. 
Cancel that. Get out of there. It's nice that Eric is keeping his distance. Um, okay, we got some more slimes here. Where am I? So I'm over here. I really want to find those pumpkins. Eric. Thank you. Takes him a while to charge up his attack, though. So here's some turkeys. What is that, a crow? Well, we're gonna turn our tactics on so that we can just, uh, we can just fight. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So if my, I think this was the same thing in Final Fantasy XII. If two people were attacking the same enemy and one character killed that enemy, the second character would not immediately swap to another target. Their entire action would just be lost and they would have to charge up a new action. Um, so you gotta be careful who you're attacking. All right, well, we're headed down to Sunrise Falls, but I don't see any pumpkins. Uh, let me check the journal. Quests, defeat pumpkins. I would have expected then that the pumpkins are near his farm. Let's go back to his farm. I, I guess I just missed where his farm was. Uh, eh, I mean, I probably just overlooked where his farm was. But yeah, if you have seven characters, wow, that's a that's a lot to manage. Even in Final Fantasy XII, you only had three at a, any given time. So there's the there's the bar. Is this guy's pumpkin? Uh, Farmer Glenn, quests defeat pumpkins. Where are your pumpkins? Where do you live? <laughs> Where do you live? <gasps> uh, let's check over here. I don't... Sir, where are your pumpkins? There's a crow over there, some slimes, slime alpha. There they are. So you gotta, you also have to cancel their previous action. All right, Eric leveled up. Let's go check that out. Party, Eric, unlock skills. You have 18 SP. Uh, let's get you Armor and a tactics slot. Oh, 8 SP for that. Okay. I need to get him a tactics slot, though. Ah, okay, so I can probably get myself a tactics slot. Uh, oh, no, I want the arming sword and the buckler. Um, and the teleburet. Uh, I've got seven left over. Learn ability bravery. Okay, well, I don't know what that is. Uh, let's go to your tactics. I didn't get another tactic slot. Okay, I got the, uh, let's go with the arming sword and the dagger and the dagger offhand, uh, Um 
Offhand attack is zero? It... It increases my speed, but it doesn't give me an offhand attack? It says offhand attack is zero. Do I need to learn the ability to dual wield? Is there... Is there a dual wheel? Because here's offhand bonus. Maybe I need to learn some kind of thing. But let's see. What is uh, fundamentals? Bravery. It's a buff. Can only be used on self. Lasts 120 seconds. Attack power 20. It costs 5 MP. Let's see if I regenerate MP at all. I have 48. So we, we will check if I regenerate MP at all. Oh no, these guys are aggressive? Okay, well. Here we go. Eric can handle it. They're doing one and two damage. It doesn't look like I regenerate MP. Okay, well, I got some SP. Oh, wow, that might... I just noticed my hat. Oh, and it actually shows what you've got equipped. Oh, that is... That's a nice touch. Um, okay, party... Uh, skills, 8 SP, okay. I need 10 for, no, I need 20 for a tactic slot. Learn cheer for five, and throw knife for three. Um, what is cheer? Uh, fundamentals, cheer. Applies the cheer status effect, which is speed plus five. Status effect stacks. Okay, let's cheer Eric. See what happens. Okay, so let's see how fast his uh, his attack gauge goes up. Oh, that is much faster. Look at that. All right. Well, we've defeated the eight pumpkins. Let's go back. Turn that in. What do we get from you? Um, 75 florins and 4 SP. Those pumpkins just keep coming. Scary fellow with a pumpkin for a head. New quest. Defeat pumpkin head. Northeast of here. All right, let's, uh, let's take out pumpkin head. I'm gonna save up a, um, actually, let's heal and save. This is an RPG. We need to save our game. It's gonna be used once every minute. Okay. So let's, uh, let's do this. So pumpkin head is somewhere in this pumpkin patch. Let's uh let's use bravery. Can I move around? Oh, I can move around while I'm charging it. Okay. 
All right, he must be in this area. Okay, so we're attacking these pumpkins. Dodge, crit, yeah. All right. Uh, let's go with Fundamentals Cheer on Eric. Oh yeah, I can move around while I do this. Is it gonna interrupt me? No, it's queued. That's what it is. Okay. Let's go Fundamentals Cheer on me. Meanwhile, Eric can... Oh, there's Pumpkinhead. Okay, um, you cancel action. Tactics off, cancel, pumpkin, delta, and then tactics on. Attack, pumpkin, epsilon. Okay, attack, pumpkin head alpha. Okay, that was a little easier than I thought it would be. One blast from Eric, who is apparently a wizarding god. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, you're gonna need things like target flying, or uh, so that way you can like throw knife against target flying without having to manually select it. Uh, okay. Nope, that's all right. Kill that turkey. Bam! Ooh, let's get those feathers. Um, where did I turn in those feathers earlier? I wonder if that same person will uh, keep those feathers. Anyways, let's save. All right. Let's go down. We'll talk uh, to the guy about Pumpkinhead, um, and then we'll head over to deliver the tools. This is a... I, I like where this is going. Um, it's very strange that it's a procedurally generated map. I don't know then what the story is. Um, I don't know if the map is the same every time. Probably not. There wasn't any way to select a seed, so it doesn't look like you can select the same thing. Um, 150 florins. Map of Turkey Hollow. I think someone must have kidnapped my wife! My dear wife, Melina, is missing. I can't find her anywhere. I'm worried that the commotion she must have been kidnapped. I have no clue to her disappearance except the strange map. Go to the Hedge Wizard. Supplies received one. Okay, map of Turkey Hollow. Uh, go to the Hedge Wizard. Find the farmer's wife. The Hedge Wizard. <sighs> Plain feathers. 500 florins for that. have any more um, 10 SP actually as well uh, let's go to unlock skills 42 okay good um, throw knife first aid uh, unlock the mechanic class for guns uh, let's see. I, I want another tactic slot. Let's get some health.
7 SP. Um, we can get some extra MP then. View. Um, let's see. Learn study. Get another tactic slot. Get another tactic slot. Oh, wait. What's this? Magic power. Learn expose weakness. Well, let's get both of those. Okay, so now. Now I can actually do tactics. All right. So this... I always have attack the nearest enemy as, like, the last option. Um, so the first thing... The first thing that I want him to do is target ally with less than... Nope, okay, I'm, I'm gonna need to get that then. Um, let's go to the squire. We need to get, uh, we need to get more tactics. Oh, here's the hedge wizard. Um, okay, let's go to the squire. Train tactics, buy tactics. Target ally with less than 50 HP. Target self with less than 50 HP, okay. Target ally. I wonder if ally is also self. Um, target enemy. Target enemy flying. Enemy vulnerable to lightning. Leader's target. Let's focus fire. Um, I don't need to do that. Don't need to do that. Okay. I don't need those yet. Uh, let's really quickly just go to the blacksmith. See what he has for sale. Um, he has adventuring clothes. Nobody can equip it. A throwing knife. I need... I'm gonna need them. Let's get ten throwing knives. Uh, I don't know if I need, like, if they get used up. Um, let's see, party, you, equipment, er, uh, uh... Is this advent- is this swashbuckling clothes? Hmm. Oh, he has- oh, I've already got the adventuring clothes equipped. Okay. So, do I- Okay, it is an item, then. Did I not- Did I not buy it? Oh, no, I do have them. So I don't equip them? Or can I not? Hold on. Did I not get the ability to equip them? Uh, equip- er, Unlock skills. Because I have the ability throw knife. Do I not have the ability to use, to equip knives? I'm going to assume that I have the ability to throw the knives that I have. So, let's go to party. Let's go to tactics. Um, so you. If there is a... Enemy that is flying... I want you to use throw knife. Consumes a throwing knife. There we go. Um, all right. First aid is removes the bleeding target. Can only target an ally that is less than 25 HP. Restores 50 HP. Uh, okay, so I can't use that yet because I only have target ally at 50 HP. So... Target ally at less than 50 HP, uh, use sucker. Um, target enemy, uh, nearest, and use, uh... Can only be used on self. Okay. So target self anytime. So what this will do is Hmm, okay, so here's here's what it's what it's going to do. The first thing in combat is he will always check first is anybody at less than 50 HP. If true, he's going to cast a healing spell on them. Then he's going to check, do I have the study buff? If I don't have the study buff, I'm going to give myself the study buff. And then if both of these are true, he's going to go down to this. And he's going to go, okay, I've done my study buff. Nobody needs healing. I will now attack the nearest enemy. If he ever loses the study buff in combat, he will then attack... He will then use the study buff before attacking the nearest enemy. So I'm going to actually make this a lower priority. So this is the lowest priority now. Okay. 
Okay. So, um, talk to the hedge wizard. So yeah, he has study on right now. Um, all right. Uh, okay, uh, research. You have nothing worth researching. Okay, quests. Find the farmer's wife. Go to the hedge wizard. The only is missing. This map is the only clue. Let's research this map. Try to find... <sighs> research. I'll help you with your research just this once until we find Melina. Search for clues. Okay. Throughout the world, you will learn legends of clues. The legend will tell of a hidden dungeon. Clues will help you find those dungeons. To get the clues, go to a library, select search for clues, convert your inventory items into clues. Select research quest. There you will select a legend. Okay, so search for clues at a library. And then I guess if you have pieces of clue, like you've got maps, you can then select them and turn them into a quest. Okay. Add clues to the map until you have found the path to the dungeon. All right. So search for clues. We have the map of Turkey Hollow. Find certain objects like maps and journals and bring them here to reveal their clues. Maps of Turkey Hollow provided the following clues. Farm, plains, plains, cave. Okay, so research. We have farm, plains, plains, and cave. So if we want to find the farmer's wife, we now need to put these together. So let's do, can be used in place of planes to make it lower difficulty, but worse treasure. Uh, let's go with cave. Oh, I see. You need to make a path. Okay, so we'll start with cave. Or actually, you know what? No. Oh, I, I can't, I can't cancel it? Oh no, I can, okay. Let's start with farm. Oh, it has to match on the symbol. Okay, so here's a farm. Here's a plains. Here's a plains. And here's a cave. Start quest. Search the hidden cave. Okay. Um, the It looks like it's over here. So we have to head over to the right. <laughs> Gotta go up and around, it looks like. So let's see, does, does this tell me actually now um, what his weakness is? Because I can't can't select him. I've got expose weakness. Find an enemy's weakness. Uh, sorry, I've got study. Reveals your enemy's strengths and weaknesses. Oh, I bet, I bet I know what this does. I bet now I can go to journal enemies. No? Does he have to kill the enemy? Journal? Enemies? No. What? Okay, how about this? Um, we're going to go with this. Uh, Eric, Scholastics, Expose Weakness. No. Okay. Eric, Scholastics, Expose Weak... No, on Slime. Okay, cancel your current... Okay, I've turned your tactics off. Cancel your current action. Scholastics, Expose Weakness. Okay, there we go. That's what it means. So now I can see that physical attacks are very bad and magic attack is very good. It looks like fire... Yeah, fire especially is good. Um, and then I'll turn your tactics back on. And you can use fundamentals uh, bravery on yourself. 
Wait, why are you attacking? Oh, because your tactics were on. Fundamentals, bravery, self. What did that give me? Bleeding? What is this? Oh, it's attack up. It's it's bravery. <gasps> Why did he use it twice? Did I accidentally tell him to use it twice? Okay, so now do I have journal? Enemies. No. What did expose weakness do? Hmm. Let me see. Party. You. Skills. Hidden weaknesses. I don't know. I honestly don't know what that does. All right, turkeys. Finding the farmer's wife. Okay, wow, it's pretty far away. Okay, let's do this. Eric, tactics off, cancel action, scholastics, expose weakness for slime alpha. Let's see what that does. I'm gonna pay real attention. Okay. Um. Scholastics, expose weakness, slime alpha. <laughs> what did that do? Oh, hey, hey! Hidden weakness! Here we go! Poison! I don't know if that means he uses poison? Oh, and only Eric can see that. Only Eric knows about these. Zach can't see that. That's interesting. Okay. Okay, so this... Throwing knife! Yeah, he's using throw knife. Alright. Uh, where's that cave, though? The cave is still to the right. Here it is. That's a weird cave, but that's the cave. Oh, bird? No feathers? Okay. Alright, let's jump in here. Enter the hidden path. Okay, we've got spiders. Well, it looks like study didn't show anything. Uh, fundamentals, bravery on yourself. Hey, he'll do it after the attack, though. Gonna go fundamentals cheer, Eric. After the attack. Cheer. And then after you cheer Eric, you can cheer yourself. Hmm. 
da 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 da. Um, okay, so this... Oh, okay. Well, let's hope that the spiders attack Zack, because Zack has all the defense. Well, not all the defense. Oh, actually, you know what? They're only doing one damage to Eric as well. So, yeah, screw it. Just, just attack them. I do hope that enemies do not respawn. Um... Because this area is pretty janky. But it looks like I can go up here. The map is not super detailed, not very helpful. Um, let me see if I can do this. Party. Unlock skills. I need another. I need another tactic slot. Okay. Um, the reason I need another tactic slot is because now I can do this. Tactics. Primary tactic is target ally any, and let's do fundamental cheer. Oh, and I'll turn it on. So now, now. He will automatically cheer whenever we need it. So it's basically haste. So I don't even need to worry. I can just walk around. This is Final Fantasy XII's battle system. This is great. I actually, I loved Final Fantasy XII's battle system because of how you could, uh, how you could micromanage or you can just sit back and uh, let your allies do your thing. <laughs> okay, let's go up. Yeah, let's go up this way. But yeah, that is the one thing that I don't like. If if your ally defeats the enemy that you have targeted, you lose your attack. All right, you can do that one. I'll do this one. Oh, I'm trying to cheer him, but I'm out of range. That's what it was. So now I should cheer myself. Okay, ally any does hit yourself as well. I think I am gaining MP. All right, Eric, uh, we're going to turn off. Uh, we're going to turn off your usage of study. Just for the moment. And the reason we're doing that is because he's eating through his mana. I want him to have at least some mana to use the healing spell when he needs to. I'm just seeing a bunch of spiders here. I'm not actually seeing anything special. And we'll also make sure that he... Did he just level up? Okay, he just leveled up. I'm like, how did he get all of his mana back? If that's the case, then screw it. Yeah, I hope you can use new study again. I'm not seeing like treasure, treasures or anything. I mean, spider fangs.
Let's cheer Eric. Cheer myself. Now attack. I mean, hey, Eric is handling him. And he is getting MP back. I wonder if he gets it back through combat. Let's see, I have 64. Let's see what happens when I attack something, if I manage to get a hit off. Because Eric is faster than I am. He's faster because I have a shield, and my shield is slowing me down. I need to get those skills that... Let me see if I can get them now. Party. Uh, unlock skills. I need the speed skills. Is this one? Speed reduction? Yeah, yeah. So I need this and this. Um, blue magic. Offhand bonus. Let's see what happens when I get these this offhand bonus. Can I... No, it doesn't... It even lowers my attack. Oh, no, not the arming sword. This. There we go. You do need offhand bonus to get the ability to attack with um, your offhand weapon. Okay. Now I'm much faster. Okay, this I like now. We are learning. We are getting places. We need to go right or up. Let's go up. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to the boss, and I'm already an hour into this video. So I think I'm going to stop it here. Um, but I am digging this quite a bit. Um, this is giving me Final Fantasy XII vibes. It was a Final Fantasy that I enjoyed. This battle is the Gambit system. Um, it's not the first time that a Gambit system has been done, but this is mimicking it one for one. <laughs> like, this is... This is literally just copying it. But you know what? That's not bad. It is good. It is fun. Um, I'm going to be playing this more. I, I want to I wanna actually like get, get further into this. I want to see what classes there are. I want to see how managing seven people is like. Um, you can get an army in this. Like, God. <laughs> can, do I use them all at once? Like, is it, or are, do I just use a couple of them at a time? Um, I don't know. I, I want to find out, but yeah. So, anyways, um, oh god, I, I forgot even the name of this game. One second. Uh, it is Scepter Road Voyager. This is Scepter Road Voyager for Steam. Um, I have been the Blue Fox. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day.